Option in your home, in your home, oh, on the phone, on the phone, all alone, all alone, uh, I can see you know interruption. Yo, what's going on, guys? Excerpt Live is here. Today in this video, it's going to be a video on how to change your startup console ID. And what this is, it's the console ID um, that your PS3 boots up with. And if you guys know, um, when you boot up your PS3 with a banned console ID, which is usually your original one, you know, when your original ID gets banned, you have to set a new one using Control Console Manager from your computer to connect it with your IP address, which is really annoying. So if you look on the screen, I'll get this error when I try to sign in, which means I'm basically banned. Um, because that's my original console ID, it does not work. And things you'll need is only this only works on an ITA 4.50 PS3 or a 4.55. So it has to be an IDA firmware, okay? IDA. No, not Rebug. Sorry for Rebug users, but I really recommend going to IDA. So what you guys want to download the CFW setup v4 and start that up. And for the safety of my console ID, I'm going to blank out everything but the last two digits just to be safe. Um, so what you guys want to hit on is change console ID. And you can also install the 4.60 spoof if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, just hit change console ID and you'll see that it has all the zeros right here. Um, so what you guys want to do is get a console ID you want to use, alright? So that will be... I'll just use this one right here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and black everything out because I don't want you guys seeing my console ID, obviously, for safety reasons. So, uh, I should be blacking it out right now. And I'm going ahead and typing my console ID in. And, um, don't worry, uh, you won't be able to, like, um, you won't accidentally type your console ID wrong because, um, if you, after you have the right amount of digits, it won't let you type anymore. So that just, uh, you know, means you have it all good um all right i just set my console id and um now you'll see it's at the bot if you have ever changed console id it'll be at the bottom now it'll say cid and i'm still blacking out the last two digits because i don't want you guys to see it but now you're going to hit save settings and exit and you will exit to the xmb menu and um be sure to give this video a thumbs up. This is a very helpful tutorial. Uh, it's pretty simple, but um, yes, I just want to you know, make sure you guys know what the hell is going on. So what you guys want to do is turn off your system. And um, if you guys are new to my channel, um, drop a sub. I upload tutorials um, like when I can. Um, from there and there, I'll upload some mod menus, but you know, mostly tutorials now on my channel. Uh, I'm trying to help you guys succeed in the modding community and um, help you guys um, do the hard stuff. Um, just make your PS3 look cooler and simpler to use. Um, so yeah, I just rebooted my PS3, and I'm gonna go ahead right on to my Super S1337 account and sign in immediately. Uh, I'm not even changing anything. Um, it's just that simple, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment. And, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to add me on Skype. Um, you know, you guys all know my Skype will be in the description below. And, um, hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace!